up guys? This video is about modding your DJI Integra to have all SMA antennas of your choice. I always wanted to do this but faced setbacks as I ordered all the wrong parts so I decided to abandon the project. Weeks later a YouTuber named Piotr Glab dropped an excellent video along with 3D prints to add SMARP True RC patches onto his Integra goggles. This inspired me to get back onto this project. I'm going to change all the goggle antenna to LHCP patches and stubbies, just like my goggles V2. Well, anyway, if you want to mod it just like me, first you will need the True RC patches. I purchased the True RC antenna combo for Walk Snail, which come with two X Airs and two stubbies. On AliExpress, I purchased the RP SMA female 10 centimeter and 15 centimeter long, and the RP SMA female. 90 degrees, 10 centimeter long, and 15 centimeter long. Links are all in the description below of where I got them from. So the first thing you need to do is take apart your goggles Integra. Please watch Piotr's video on how to take apart the Integra. Then come back here after you've done that. Okay, welcome back. So Piotr showed us how to remove the antenna, and I just wanted to offer some additional insight, as it was a real to get them off. So there are these tabs that face towards center, and you'll need a flathead screwdriver to bend them inward. But I found it helpful to take another tool and push down at the same time. In the description below, I included all the free STL downloads of the modified prints. Take a close look at the antenna hole on both sides. The right side has a notch line and the left side is flat. The right side will use the 10 centimeter RP SMAs and the left side will use the 15 centimeter RP SMAs. Remove the goggle face screws and screw it into the hole of the TPU print. Don't screw it in all the way, just have it sticking out a little bit. Now check the TPU print with the screw and ensure it matches the curve of the face. The box shaped opening faces downward. Screw them both in. To stay organized, mark the RP SMA 90 degree UFL only with a sharpie so then you know which one it is. Slide in the UFL through the print's circular hole up top. Now slide in Piotr's clever cap design. Put on the washer and secure the nut. Now for the stubby print. Slide the RP SMA UFO wire through the hole and pry open the print. Press in your RP SMA and make sure the nut is seated into the hex shape. Place assembly loosely into the hole, then slide the RP SMA 90 degree UFL down the cutout. Now push in the assembly. Put on the lock washer, the smooth washer, then tighten down the hex. The RP SMA will go where the black UFL were, and the RP SMA 90 degrees with markings go where the colored wires are. Since I'm not removing the internal antenna, I wrap them in electrical tape and just tuck them behind the plastic. Assemble your goggles back together. So one cool thing about this mod is it might actually work for the goggles too as well. You just need to find a way to sneak the UFL wire in. DIY at your own risk and test at your own risk. The last few days I finally tested my setup. I flew from one end of the field all the way to the other end and went behind a school with multiple concrete walls. I also did a small VLOS flight and went almost 2 kilometers. Signal was still strong. Because I was standing on the road, someone stopped and tried to talk to me. He said he wanted to salt the road and he was worried it would go all over my equipment. So unfortunately I had to cut that flight short. But at least we know this mod behaves normally and there is potential. Next time I'll also do another test and full send it. I'll drop the testing video at a later date. For now you can at least add the SMA using the prints and test different types of interchangeable antennas. After all, this is what makes FPV fun. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and see you on the next one.